and now at 11, students sick for the second day in a row at the same South Florida school. And today, fists flew as a fight broke out. CBS 4's Carrie Codd joins us live from Coral Springs High. Carrie? Yeah, imagine the situation at this football field here behind me. A huge evacuation of thousands of students and staff from this school. In the hot South Florida sun, it became a dangerous and volatile situation. Things got overheated outside Coral Springs High School Friday, right after school officials say things got overheated inside the school, forcing an evacuation of more than 3,000 students and staff. There was like smokes in the hall, so they didn't want us in the building. Students say the evacuation happened after a power surge at the school, overheated electrical equipment in an elevator and the cafeteria. Students poured out onto the football field and waited and waited and waited for two hours in the South Florida heat, and a bunch of them got sick. There was kids passing out, like it was bad. The Broward School District says they brought in extra water, but students say it wasn't enough. Not enough water for everyone, it's hot out here. Everyone's like crowded up in the concession stand trying to get water. In fact, we're told that an argument over a lack of water led to this fight. There was um, a couple of kids fighting over water bottles because there wasn't enough water for everybody. So it was it was pretty bad. Police detained the two students in the fight and were told the school will discipline them. Paramedics took nine students to the hospital for heat exhaustion and treated 18 others on site. <laughs> Incredibly, it was reminiscent of a scene just the day before when three Coral Springs High School students were rushed to the hospital for heat exhaustion and 14 others treated on the same football field during a concert. This school is crazy, man. I don't know. I don't know how like this happened. So the school wound up calling it quits early today. Even though everything was fixed by about noon, paramedics tell us that everyone who got sick over the last couple days is expected to be okay. Live in Coral Springs, Carrie Codd, CBS 4 News tonight. Carrie, thank you. And